Hey, we're back with Will Arndt with Healthcare Planners, Inc. Thanks for joining us. Yes, it's good to be back. Great. It's great to have you. So, hey, we're in the midst of annual election period for Medicare, right. and we're meeting with all our retiree clients who have either signed up or getting ready to sign up, and we're getting the question, what's the difference between Medicare and Medicare Advantage plans? And it's a good question because it's, it's, it's confusing. And there's a lot of extra confusion because of all the commercials that you see on TV advertising free this, you might be available or you might be eligible for this. And it's just very confusing time right now. So the real simple way that we explain it to people is um, there's a door that you have to walk through. And the door is part A and part B of Medicare. You have to have part A and part B of Medicare to go down either path. Once you're inside the door, you've got part A, part B, so you've paid the monthly premium for that. Then you have a decision to make, and that's where it's Medicare, traditional Medicare with a supplement or Medicare Advantage. We explain it like this. If you've ever been to a buffet, you pay your 20 bucks to get into the buffet, and then you can eat whatever you want. If you want it, a lot of self-serve ice cream, load up your plate. If you want the, the fries, if you want the steak, whatever you want in the buffet, you can eat for that one price going in. That is very much like traditional Medicare with a supplement. You pay and then when you're in there, you can do whatever you want. There's an annual deductible and that changes each year. But once you're in the buffet, you can eat whatever you want. Medicare Advantage is different from that in that it's more like a cafeteria. If you've ever been to a cafeteria, you walk in there, you grab a tray, and you can walk to a table and sit there and you don't pay anything. Uh, that's kind of like Medicare Advantage because once you start putting things on your tray, that's when you start to pay. Okay. So you put the dessert on, you put the salad on, you can put a, a piece of meat on there. You're going to pay a different amount for each of those. And so if you if you go crazy, you could actually pay more at a cafeteria than you would pay at the buffet. And so that's really the difference between Medicare Advantage and me traditional original Medicare with a supplement. It's pay in case you need it versus pay when you need it. Okay. That's a, does that make sense? It does make sense. And I appreciate you explaining that. That's an important point because you know we're working for the folks trying to help them plan and budget for their retirement years. It sounds like you can pay quite a bit more if you're not careful about monitoring what election you're going to choose. What, why, what would cause somebody to choose one option versus another? So people that want a traditional Medicare, let's say you, you decide on this side of the pathway. Um, people love freedom of access with Medicare supplements and traditional Medicare. You can go to any provider in the United States that accepts Medicare. That's a really big deal for people that like to travel. They really like that freedom of access. Uh, it's guaranteed issue, so they're not going to ask you any health questions. You know, you can come in and, and uh, you can keep it, even if you've got a lot of health conditions coming in. Yeah. So if people come in and they've got a lot of stuff going on, a Medicare supplement is going to care for all of that right from the, right from the beginning, and your expenses are going to be low. Um, there's no referrals. You just go to another Medicare provider, and, um, and you can get access that way. The plans are standardized. So a G plan is a G plan with every single company. So you don't have to worry that you're getting, you're missing out on some kind of benefits because the plans are standardized. Uh, the, the last thing is predictable cost. People like, if they're a budgeting kind of person, they'd rather go with the Medicare supplement because you know what your expenses are gonna be every single month. That makes sense. Now, on the other hand, Medicare Advantage, um, they are local networks. Um, and so there's some more restrictions there, but, but they are very much localized around specific things. Now that can be an advantage uh, because in a specific area, there might be conditions that are more prevalent and they are highlighting those conditions. Prescription plans are generally built in to the Medicare Advantage plans. So you're going to save a little bit of money over a traditional supplement because your prescription plan is built in. The premiums, this is the biggest thing for people. They love the premiums because they're generally zero or very low cost. Okay. So over here on the traditional side, you're gonna pay 100, 120, 140, and that's gonna to continue to go up every year as we get rate increases. Medicare Advantage, they start at zero and they generally don't go up every year. 
Wow. And so the benefits increase a little bit. And that's another thing, additional benefits. People love the additional dental, vision, hearing. There's some other stuff in there to keep people healthy. So that's that's important as well. Um, and if you don't like a plan, if, you, if in July you're like, I don't really like this plan, I want to try something new. People call us up and they say, hey, keep your eye on a new plan for me because I want to try to change this year. So you can change every year. There's not like a once in, you're locked in. So every annual election period, you can move around uh, or every open enrollment period. Got it. Okay. So just in, in recap, what would be some of your pro tips as far as avoiding pitfalls when making this decision? Well, there's, there's a series of questions that we go through. And, and if you have a lot of health use, if you use a lot of your health insurance, you're probably going to spend more on a Medicare Advantage plan than you would on a Medicare Um If you're very price conscious, the Medicare Advantage plans do offer a lot of benefits. They do offer a lot of extra, extra things. So if, if you're really on a fixed income, um, Medicare Advantage plans can really offer people a lot more access. Um, the thing to keep in mind, though, is you've got to go, you've got to get in the doorway by having A and B of Medicare. That kind of opens up new pathways for you. So you've got to have A and B together, and they don't work together. You can't have an Advantage plan and a supplement. Okay. So you got to so choose. You do have to choose a path. Okay. All right. So, I, and like we've said before, you know, we definitely touch on Medicare as part of the overall financial planning process, but there's a lot of nuance and this is a very specific niche that we absolutely recommend you talk to an, a, a professional about. And Will, if, if anybody wants to reach out to you, um, their informa your information will be on the bottom of the screen so they can uh, get in touch with you. Yeah, we'd be happy to talk to you during the annual election period, but also anytime throughout the year. If you just want to talk through your plan, we're paid by the companies that we represent, so there's no cost to you. So feel free to reach out if we can be of any service to you. Great. Thanks so much.